free coffee. It was just your average guy from Salem, Oregon, who posted a photo this past week that appeared to show a World War II soldier trudging through the mud. A soldier, another soldier, a comrade of his, on his back, apparently wounded. And the guy on his back is firing a pistol behind them, you know, getting his, his brother in arms his back while he carries him to safety. And Terry Coffey, when posting this photo on Facebook, put this caption. As I see post after post about Bruce Jenner's transition to a woman, and I hear words like bravery, heroism, and courage, just thought I'd remind us all what real American courage, heroism, and bravery looks like. Of course, talking about Caitlyn Jenner. The post, as Ross Story reports it, was shared more than 755,000 times. <laughs> Unbelievable. But before you throw up, feel disgusted, feel like you have to go take a shower and ponder where we have gone as, a hum as the human race. Old Terry Coffey decided after this post went viral, maybe I should find out where this picture came from and credit the photographer. <laughs> so, Mr. Coffey did a quick search online and he found the photo. He found the source of the photo. And what, fa what he found shocked him to his very core. To the point where he even put up another Facebook post to explain what he had found. So he said he did this quick search. He looked for the photographer and this is what he found. In an ironic twist, I've discovered that the photo is part of a documentary created by a man who was beaten nearly to death outside of a bar in the year 2000. The photographer, Mark Hogenkamp, spent nine days in a coma and suffered severe brain damage, among other injuries, Coffey learned. To cope with these injuries, after he came out of the coma, Hogan Camp created an imaginary world set in World War II, where he created the image that Co Coffey posted and went viral. And the photo is actually a picture of two toy soldiers. <laughs> The photographer basically, you know, put, took toy soldiers and he recreated a scene for his documentary. What's more amazing, though, well, I'll give you a second to stop laughing. Okay. What's more amazing, though, is what Coffey learned when he went even further. Why was he nearly beaten to death by five strangers? Coffey asked. Because he was a cross-dresser. I could have chosen any one of hundreds of photos depicting bravery, but I chose this one, Coffey said. Do I think it was an accident? No, I don't. What happened to this man was cruel, wrong, and unforgivable. Wow. Hate helps nothing. Love wounds no one. And God heals all. And irony makes you think. Good for him. Well. I'll, go, I'll give him that, I guess. First time he had to think, I guess. <laughs> right. Amazing, though. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But, you know, maybe there's hope that a guy like that can actually learn something and discover maybe I was, maybe I was wrong. 